Welcome to the 2011 Reindeer Games. This year's event is expected to be chock full of action and drama. See if Blitzen can finally knock off Rudolph and his 20-year string of wins. An addition to this year's event is a slow limb race for the reindeer to compete in along with the usual straight dash. As a warm-up to the reindeer competition, we will present events from the North American Dog Sled Competition. There will be a dash run and slow limb. And now for this year's games. We have behind the Mike Frosty the Snowman. And the ever pleasant Grinch. Take it away, Frosty. Thanks, Dick. That was our program director Dick Hebert with a great intro to this year's 2011 Reindeer Games. I am Frosty the Snowman and with me here is the Grinch. Thanks, Frosty. We are very excited about this year's games. Not only the drama of the competition but also this year's first inclusion of the dog sled races. That's right Grinchy, the first event will be the straight dog sled dash for 100 yards. This is a grueling race but these dogs are up for it. Dick, would you be able to teleprompt us with the names of this year's competitors? Excellent. In lane 1 will be an old time favorite, Rin Tin Tin. Next to him will be Brian from Family Guy. Wait, now hold the phone there Frosty. How can a cartoon dog compete against a flesh and blood dog? He will be at a disadvantage, won't he? That is a good point Grinch but since we are in a semi-animated movie, the developer can give him special powers if he wants. They do it all the time. I mean I have magic powder. Yeah, that's right. I ended up with a heart three sizes too big. Any flesh and blood Grinch would have had a stroke with that condition. Rounding out the dog sled dash is Lassie in lane 3, Buck from Jack London Books and on the outside is good old underdog. Now that was a dog with superpowers. Grinch, Dick tells me that the same animals will be competing in the slalom race as well. Yes Frosty. In the slalom the dogs not only have to run fast but also around poles along the way. Their sleds will be filled with a variety of heavy dad presents. Right and those include power tools, TVs, lawn mowers and cinder blocks. The last are for those dads that like to build their own fire pits for cookouts. Frosty. Unlike the dash race, if a participant loses any presents along the track, they will have five minutes deducted from their final time. That could be key to winning or losing. So Grinch. If they were to lose five presents, they will have twenty minutes deducted. I don't think you have your hat on straight Frosty. Five minutes times five presents is twenty-five minutes. That is what would be deducted. Okay. Well Grinch, we had our man about town. The abominable snowman taking pictures of beautiful downtown Santa's village. Why don't we take a look and see what he has for us? Good evening gentlemen and what a beautiful evening it is here in Santa's village. It is dusk and the sky is a reddish hue from the Aurora Borealis. That really is a sight to behold the Bommy. Bommy, what are you calling him that for? His name is Abominable Snowman. Yeah, well Grinchy. In the snowman snowball team, he is called Bommy. It is right on his shirt when he wears one. Oh, okay Bommy. Please continue with your report. Okay Grinchy. Last night while you guys were downing a few frosty cold root beers, I was about town getting pictures of the awesome lights. As you can see from the shot, Santa went all out this year. That is a 70 foot spruce with a 2 foot star on top. The multicolored lights just sparkle in the crisp night air. Bommy, we had heard there were carolers gathered around the tree late into the night. Was that the elves? Frosty, I would think they would be too busy with making toys for Christmas and all. Had to be someone else. You are correct Mr. Grinch. Santa had the hues imported for a week. They do the caroling each night. He'll drop them off when he does his test run on December 23rd. I thought they sounded familiar. Was little Cindy who there as well? Yes, she was. What a cutie she is. Also out last night was Jack Frost. He will report on the course conditions and preparations. Great. Thanks for the wonderful report, Bommy. Let's now go to Jack Frost out at Three Kings Stadium. Jack, are you there? Good evening, gentlemen. Jack Frost here from the newly renovated Three Kings Stadium. As you can see, 
There are quite a lot of parents at this year's event. For the benefit of the folk salt and TV land, children are not allowed in the village after December 1st for security reasons. Parents however are invited to attend the games. Yes cringe. In many cases they drop off their children's Christmas wish list and then stay over to attend. The crowd is a record setter this year. The field is looking good from here frosty and I was able to get some pictures of the outside course. Here we see the elves bringing in the gifts for the slalom race. These will be used for both the dog and reindeer races. The polar bear was saved from an iceberg by Santa. Jack, is that the white bear we hear so much about? Many of the humans are afraid of him until they get to know him. That is right Frosty. He is as gentle as a kitten when you get up close. He has been very helpful this year too. Jack, I see the presents are stacked pretty high there. They are the heavy dad stuff. How did the elves get them loaded? They are not really big guys. Well Mr. Grinch, as you can see the head elf was given a magic wand by Santa himself. It is used to levitate the presents into the wagon. Before I go frosty, I wanted to show the new hurdles as part of the slow lamb. The reindeer will need to get over this with full sleds. That is going to be no easy feat. Thanks for the excellent report Jack. We will talk to you later as the races conclude. Okay Frosty. Looks like the dogs are lining up for the 100 yard dash. This will be the kickoff event for the Sears games. Yes cringe. And the favorite according to the parent polling booth is underdog. If he still has his powers here in the North Pole, he should blow the tails off the other dogs. And there is the sound of the gun. The 2011 games have begun. Wow, and just like that the 100 yard dog dash is over. Underdog has blown the others away. We have a second place of Rit in Tin and a third is Lassie. I would say this animator decided not to give Brian any special powers. He is still jogging across the finish line just now. Last place. Frosty. I guess the animator must have grown up watching Underdog and saw what he could do. What does he win as a prize? Dick is telling me that he will get a box of delicious chewy treats for eating at his own leisure. If he can do the same in the slalom, he is going to be one fat Underdog. We have Bommy down at the track with a word from Underdog. Bommy, what can you tell us? Frosty, I am here with a winner of today's first event, Underdog. Mr. Under, how did it feel being able to get across the line so much faster than the other ducks? Mr. Abominable, it was just a breeze. Obviously the animator remembered who I was. He made sure I had the glory I deserved. Mr. Under, that is a big prima donnish if you ask me. What is wrong with your voice? I have come down with a cold up here at the North Pole. This interview is over. Frosty, I guess Mr. Under does not want to face the truth about being a prima donna. Back to you guys. Let's hope he does not have quite so super of powers during the slalom. He was rude and his voice was scary. I am pulling for Brian. Yes Grinchy. That type of attitude may come back to bite him in the tail. Looks like the slalom is ready to go. Frosty. The slalom is a 1,000 yard run and includes the present filled sleds. And they are off. Looks like Brian and Buck got tied up at the line. Underdog is opening up quite a margin again but it looks like he is losing presents of each pole. Rin Tintin is just ahead of Lassie. Well uh, Underdog has completed. His sled is totally empty. That is going to hurt his overall time. Here comes Rin Tintin. And now Lassie. Hobbling in together now is Brian and Buck. They showed the guts to keep going and finish the race. Now for the official scoring. Counting the presents. And we have a winner. Finishing after Rin Tin Tin was Lassie but she had all her presents. Rin Tin Tin was deducted 10 minutes for two lost presents. In last place is Underdog. Let's see if we can have Balmy have a word with Lassie. You got it Mr. Grinch. I am now here with Lassie, winner of the Solomon race. Lassie. How were you able to get through the race without losing one present? Ruff, ruff, ruff. What was that girl? Timmy is lost in the crowd. I don't think so, no children are allowed unless he snuck in. Ruff, wolf, wolf, ruff, ruff. You saying the hot dog guy was being held up? I am not sure what you mean girl. Bommy, Dick tells us she was saying she was careful around the turns. 
That was how she did not lose any presents. We will let Lassie go pick up her prize now and the first reindeer event, the 100 yard dash is about to begin. Frosty, this year we have all the usual reindeer participants except Donner. She is with Gaff and is due any day now. It should not affect her Christmas night. That is good. As well all know, Santa had to use up a lot of this year's magic preparing for these games. Well Grinchy, Dick is telling me we will need to take a short break before the reindeer races begin. Join us shortly for all the excitement.